Go with me to a Bible in the book of Ephesians 2, verse 10. I'm going to read it in the New King James Version. And then, then I'm also going to be reading it in the Amplified Classic Version. Tonight, I want to share from the thought, design for good work. The Bible says, for we are his workmanship. Look at how this portion of scripture is starting. It's starting right there by inviting you in. It's starting right there by saying that you are inside. You are on the inside. We are his. The Bible says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. In the Amplified Classic, it says, For we are God's handiwork, His workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew, that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand for us, taking part which He prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which He prearranged, and made ready for us to live. My, my, my. We are his workmanship. We were designed for good work. Right from the onset, we were designed for good work. He said the good work that which he prepared for us, which he prearranged in us, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Oh, the moment we are in Christ Jesus, we have been prepared for good work. This good work was predestined before the foundation of the world. Design is to plan and make something artistically or skillfully. So when God made you, he made you skillfully and he placed the purpose on the inside of you and he designed you for good work. Hallelujah. Design can also be described as to create, to fashion, to execute, or construct according to plan. You were constructed according to the plan of God. Your makeup, all of you, was constructed according to the plan of God for the work which he predestined for you. When God created us, he already purposed that we are designed for good work. Right from the beginning, my family, don't allow anybody to lie to you, that to say to you that your life amounts to nothing. Never allow that lie to come in your life. You were designed right from the onset. You were designed for good work. In Psalm 139, verse 15 to 17, also in the Amplified Classic, the Bible says, My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret and incredibly and curiously rough as if embroidered with various colors. In the depth of the earth, a region of darkness and mystery, your eyes saw my unformed substance. And in your book, all the days of my life, were written before ever they took shape, when as yet there was none of them. How precious and which are your thoughts to me, O God. How vast are the sum of them all. I want you to look at the words there. They say, the Bible says, my frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret. Right when I was being formed in secret, my frame was not hidden from you. But watch this. You curiously wrought as if embroidered. Those that saw the no embroidery, it is something that is very, very special. So God is saying, while you were yet being formed in secret, he ensured that you were embroidered with various colors in the depth of the earth. Oh, hallelujah. So his eyes saw your substance. 
His eyes saw your substance yet being unformed. And while you are being formed, he said, there's the one that I'm designing for good work. There's the one that I'm designing for greatness. Oh, glory to God. The moment we begin to grasp this truth, this truth will unleash a freedom that cannot be explained from our carnal mind. The moment you understand the truth that you were designed for good work, when that truth begins to take shape in your spirit, when that truth begins to take root in your life, your life begins to shape in the way that God wants it to be. You were designed for great work. Ah, oh, Jesus. This truth will liberate us. And it will cause an awakening in our lives. The moment you have this truth that you are designed for good work, it will cause an awakening in our lives. Watch what the Bible says in Jeremiah 1 verse 5. Tonight I'm camping here in the Amplified Classic. What a beautiful translation. The Bible says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approve of you as my chosen instrument. Oh, my family. Before I form you in the womb, I want you to catch that. I knew, not only did I know you, but I approved you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I separated you and set you apart, consecrated you and appointed you a prophet to the nation. Oh, tonight I want you to know, family, that you are approved, that you are chosen. You know, when uh, people that create things, uh, they put a stamp of approval, uh, they put a stamp to say, yes, uh, this was done by us. Uh, we know the product that we are sending out there. So we are approving uh, of this product. Uh, so God said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you were, uh, not only did I know you, I approved you. Uh, oh, if human beings can put uh, the stamp of approval uh, in their products, uh, how much more that God say I approved you, uh, you are approved, uh, and whom God has approved, uh, no one can disapprove. Uh, walk in the knowledge of knowing that you are designed for good work. As we draw closer to God, as you desire more of him, this truth will become a reality in our lives. This truth gives us the freedom to know that we are chosen and accepted. We are chosen and accepted. Even if human beings don't want to choose you, the almighty God has chosen you. And because of the choice, you are a history maker. Because of the choice, you are a wealth shaker. Because of the choice, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You were created, designed for good work. You are approved. And once again, I want to remind you, whom God has approved, no one can disapprove. This truth will eliminate the feeling of thinking you are not worthy. You are not worthy. The truth of knowing that you are designed for, for, for good works. You are designed for greatness will eliminate this lie that you are not good enough. Because God chose you before you were even born. He designed you in a specification that will cause you to do great exploit. That's what the Bible says in Daniel 11 verse 32 in the New King James Version. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, it shall corrupt with flattery. But, oh, whenever you see a but, just take your time and see what God is saying. But the people who know they are God shall be strong and do great exploit. You are, you are created for great exploit. You are created to stand out. You are created to add value in this world. The people who know their God, they shall be strong and do great exploit. Great exploit is your portion as we live out our lives according to God's plan for us. 
Never believe a lie that nothing good can come out of you. It does not matter what is your background. It does not matter where you came from. It does not matter what country you come from. Never believe a lie that nothing good can come out of you. Because everything good can come out of you. You are carrying the DNA of our Father. You are carrying the DNA of God. And you say, I have chosen you. I have approved you. You are carrying the DNA. You are carrying his mind. For we have the mind of Christ. You are carrying his DNA. You are approved to do great and mighty exploit. Your past has no power over the plans of God for you. He designed you. And when he designed you, he said, let me put my stamp of approval. He approved you. So he placed his best in you. Ha! He placed his best in you. Don't look at yourself the way the Lord, the world looks at you. Look at yourself through the eyes of your maker. Look at yourself through the eyes of the potter. You are the clay in his hand. He said, I design you. I skillfully design you and I approved you. So never ever look at yourself based on your circumstances. Never ever look at yourself based on your past. God said, I have approved you. You are approved. Somebody need to holler tonight. I am approved. I am approved by God. And he has designed me for good work. Wherever I show up, good works must happen. Wherever I am, in whatever sphere of influence that God has placed me, good works will happen because I was designed. I was designed to show up. I was designed to bless people because God has placed his DNA in me. So wherever I go, good works shows up. And I want the truth to settle in your spirit. Let the truth settle in your spirit. Let it settle in your spirit. You are approved. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All of us that are in Christ, we are a new creation. All things has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The moment we are in Christ, all things are new. So our past can't hold us captive. What we did in the past when we are not yet in Christ can't hold us captive. We are new. We are new in Christ. All things has passed away and behold, all things are new. And God is saying, I design you for good works. There's a newness. That is our reality. This newness is readily available for those who are in Christ. This newness opens us, opens us up to a reality, a new reality in our mind. And the moment those new realities are opened, we are liberated. We know that we are designed for good work. In Titus 2, verse 7 and 8, the Bible says, In all things, Showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. Watch this family. In all things, not in some things, in all things, showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. In doctrine, showing integrity, reverence, incorruptibility, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That one who is an opponent may be ashamed, having nothing evil to say to you. Watch what the Bible is saying. In all things, showing yourself, showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. So whatever you touch, in whatever you do, in all things, there's a pattern of good work. A pattern that shows that whatever you touch, good works come out of that. Because you are designed for that, you are designed for good work. And these good works, my family, we do not do it by our own strength or for our own benefit. 
but we do it by the grace of God in obedience to him. And we are led by the Holy Spirit for God's glory. That why never ever share glory with God. When God does something for you, never ever want to want to share that. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Give him all the adoration. When God blesses you, give him the glory. Don't allow your head to become big where you become puffed up and you say, I did this by myself. It is not by might. It is not by power, but it is by the spirit and the grace of the living God. Always give him the glory. When God does something great, give him the glory. Let your life be a testimony of the goodness of God. But all the time, give him the glory. God skillfully place in you everything you need for good works is skillfully placed in you. Everything you need for good work. All you need to do is to tap into the dimension. There's a dimension that we as children of God need to tap into. The moment you tap into the dimension, then the dimension becomes a reality to you. Unless you tap into the dimension, the dimension will never become real. It can just be a story. But the moment you tap into it, you begin to live in that real man. May the real man of this truth be located to you. May you understand that you are designed for good work. The moment we move into that dimension, we will begin to see great and mighty things. The moment we move to the dimension where we move away from what we think we know, we move to the realm of knowing that God skillfully placed in you what you need is already in you, is skillfully placed in you everything you need for you to do this good work. The moment you tap into that realm, that's when you become a wonder. That's when you become a testimony. That is when the world begins to look for you. Because they begin to see that this person has stepped into a realm. This person has stepped into what God has pre-ordered, predestined before they were even created. I need somebody to declare tonight. I am designed for good work. The truth must become your reality. You must know who you are. You must understand that when God released you to come to this earth, he released you for good work. Oh, we are the light of the world. This world is looking for the light. It is our time to begin to rise up. It is our time to begin to stand because we are created for good works. You are created for this good work. In Matthew 5, 14, once again, in the Amplified Classic, the Bible says, you are the light of the world. You are. Look at yourself, point yourself, and say, I am the light of the world. Wherever there is darkness, when light appears, Darkness disappear. Now the Bible is calling you the light of the world. And it does not just stop there. It says a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. You can't be hidden any longer. Gone are the days where you are hiding behind the pews. Gone are the days where you are keeping your gift. It is time for you to begin to release that which God has placed inside of you. The world is in need of it. The world is in need of what God has placed inside of you. Stop hiding the gifting. Stop hiding what God has placed in you. Your gift is needed. There's a place for your gift in this world. Your gift is needed. People are looking for that gift. Stop hiding. Stop hiding. You are a city that is set on a hill. You cannot be hidden. 
Gone are those days where you think your gift can just be hidden. No, there's somebody. There's somebody that is waiting on the other side of your obedience. The moment you allow the obedience and you begin to do what God has called you to do. There's somebody. There's somebody that was just waiting for that. There's somebody that is waiting. There is somebody that is waiting for you to obey what God has told you to do. There is somebody that is waiting. There is somebody that is waiting for you to rise up to do what God has called you to do. There is somebody that is awaiting. The moment you break through, your breakthrough will become a breakthrough for somebody else. The moment you rise up, your rising will become a rising for somebody else. The moment you stand and say, yes, this is what God has placed inside of me. There are people that will stand with you. There are people that will rise with you. This is the season to rise. You were designed for good work. It is your time for this good work to come. Oh, this is your season. As you rise, you are not rising alone. As you rise, there are people that will arise with you. So therefore, arise. Shine, for your light has come. You need to arise. Shine, your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Spirit of a living God, let this truth find its place in our spirit. Let this truth Find its place in our heart. Let us know that we were designed for good work. Something that is designed, it is something that is specific for somebody. Father, let the truth arise in us. Let us know that we were designed for a specific function. And that function is needed to this world. Father, bless your people. Heal those who are trusting you for healing. You are still Jehovah Rapha. You are still the one that sent his word to heal. Father, touch the people. Those who are in the place of financial difficulties. Spirit of a living God, you are still Jehovah Jireh. Father, meet them at the point of their faith as they are trusting you. Father, tonight we give you the glory. Tonight we give you the praise. We give you the adoration. Tonight we bless your holy name. Because there is none like you. Tonight we humble ourselves. Under the mighty hand of God. And we say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let our spirit be awakened to this truth. That we were designed for good works. You set us apart. You approved us. And you say we are yours. Bless your people. Bless your people. Those who are alive now. And those who are going to listen at a later stage. Lord bless them. Bless them. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the adoration. We bless you. In the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray. Amen. Now my family may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Remember you are designed for good works. Have an awesome wonderful weekend. By the grace of God. We will see you again on this platform on Monday evening at half past six for yet another word of encouragement. God bless you.